So, I haven't been posting much lately because I'm deeply involved in the packaging of the entire Dharmasar series, over a thousand videos, over a hundred playlists. So, it's quite a job and I'm up to here in it, you know. Uh, so, what am I up to? Well, you'll notice in the beginning of each video now, there's a classification. The very first line of the video description gives the classification according to our index. And you go down below the video description and you'll find there several links. One is to the uh, complete index of all the videos and the explanation of the uh, organization of the whole thing. One is to the, our good old favorite diagram of the four states of consciousness, which everybody should have memorized completely because it's absolutely the fundamental thing, the root ontology of our entire series, our entire work. And finally, there's a link to the archive it's a collection on archive.com, archive.org, excuse me, of all of our videos, all of our writing, artwork, and so on. It's an immense thing. There's thousands of files. <laughs> so this is what I've been working on recently. And so I just want to go over really quick the root ontology or the principle of organization of all this material. Here's a simplified diagram. So the whole collection, the whole series from the very beginning is classified into six categories. Introductory, Dvaita Vada, Vishishta Dvaita Vada, Vivartavada, Ajatavada, and uncategorized. And then these are divided according to the chakras, the seven chakras. So then the various video series or playlists come under those categories. And as I go through the whole archive, I'm going to assign a particular classification to each playlist and each video. And then <laughs> I'm in the process of updating the index document so that it will reflect the uh, archive collection. And uh, don't worry about that. If you click on the link to download the index, once that updating is done, it will update automatically. I mean, you'll have to download it again, but it'll have all the links to the archive, which is probably going to be there long after the YouTube channel is closed, unless I can find someone to manage it. So I'm looking for several people uh, to manage the videos on YouTube to manage the archive on archive.org and to manage the course site dharmasar.in. These three sites are the most important. There's other stuff like a, there's a blog, there's a podcast and so on, but these are mainly to feed people into the video channel. So I'm looking for help in these areas. I'm also still looking for transcription help. I've got one very good professional quality uh, transcriptionist, and but he's you know he's only one person. He can only do like three a week, 
and there's over a thousand videos. So I need a lot of help, but I need good quality help. Otherwise, it just makes more work for me to correct their mistakes. So any of you who have good editorial skills, um, please get in touch. Let me know your availability. So let's see, what else? Well, as soon as I feel that all this updating is under control, <laughs> should be another week or so, I'm going to start posting regularly again. And I hope to post something this weekend. Uh, but really, I'm so busy with all of this um, administration work that I don't have much room in my head for videos. Well, why am I doing this? Because the videos are there on YouTube, but it's often not clear what order the videos should be watched in, and it's often unclear how they relate to each other, because there's videos on such different topics. I mean, I know apparently I contradict myself <laughs> a number of times, but that's okay because I'm talking about different levels of consciousness. So you have to understand the principle of organization for it all to make sense. That's why I'm doing all this. And not only that, it will allow the whole thing to be packaged. Now, I've often said that somebody with an entrepreneurial uh, mindset could take this channel and turn it into a bunch of paid courses and make a million bucks. I'm not inclined to do that, but if somebody does, they show up and they show that they can do the work. I would gladly have them do that. And there's over a hundred books that could be published on this material. Uh, so there's, a, there's room for somebody to make this into a nice career if they have the managerial skills and the people skills to, to make it work. So what else? Yeah, th what this is about is making the videos accessible. In other words, somebody comes off of uh, YouTube search, for example. That's where the, the majority of our views actually come from and they watch one or two videos, maybe related from the same playlist or maybe completely unrelated. And what do they take away from that? Do they, do they understand that there's this huge body of work, this corpus of over a thousand videos and that they're all related in a certain way, organized in a certain way? No, not unless they download the index. The index describes what the Dharmasar project is, first of all, and then it goes into each category and explains in detail how the videos refer to a certain level of consciousness and a certain chakra. So this packages the whole thing, it organizes it into this root ontology. And that's what we're trying to do with all this work, to make the whole thing, and the, especially the concept of the Dharmasar teaching, more accessible. And why is that necessary? Uh, you guys aren't scholars or academics. Why should you need this kind of uh, supporting material? Well, it's because in order to attain enlightenment, you have to go through in an orderly sequence of steps the whole path, the spiritual path from the beginning. So that has to be marked out. It's like a map. If you want to go, you know, completely across the U.S. from one coast to the other, for example, or if you want to make a long trip in Asia especially, you need a good map. Sometimes the routes aren't marked. Sometimes there's obstacles, uh, the Rocky Mountains, for example. And sometimes it really helps to have the overview, to have the big picture, 
In fact, there's even a series called The Big Picture. <laughs> and it covers, not deeply, but in a broad way, all the topics in this whole series. So these are things that you should be aware of so that this series becomes accessible to you and you can get the highest benefit from it, which is, of course, complete self-realization. Aum Tatsat. Aum Shakti Aum.